Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and this is the long journey home, and I have been looking forward to getting stuck into this one, because this is a game basically about being on a spaceship and getting lost and having to find your way home through a long journey, and it's sort of FTL-y, and just sort of generally spacey and sci-fi and explorery, and it seems to have a beautiful soundtrack, and it's all about a sense of wonder and exploration, and, and I'm just throwing money at my screen right now, but it's not helpful helping because I already have the game. So the first thing you need to do is actually pick a crew. Choose four crew members, it says down there on the bottom left. So you need to pick the four people that are going to come with me. <laughs> I've never played this before, so I'm not really sure, like, you know, which of these are good. I mean, I feel like in many ways, taking an astronaut into space is a good idea. But when you could take an archaeologist, why exactly would I not bring one of those either? So if I want to, I can literally bring along a YouTuber, an archaeologist... A theoretical physicist who's clearly on drugs, and their corporate money man. If I want to die, that is, I don't particularly. Let's see if I can pick a nice sensible crew here. I'm going to say, engineer, seems to be good at, you know, repairing stuff. Astronaut, researcher, can science. And archaeologist, because archaeologist. Now I'm going to choose between the Discovery, the Ulysses, and the Endurance. Alright. Probably let's just go for the mixed bag. That's a good idea. Ooh, ooh hang on. Can I choose a I get to choose the colour scheme. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Got to pick a nice, sensible colour scheme that definitely won't upset any of the aliens. Oh, that's so gaudy. That's so ridiculously gaudy. That. That's beautiful. This pretty much guarantees we will be fired upon by any alien species with any form of artistic sensibilities. Choose a lander, the Serenity, the Pathfinder, or the Odyssey. Wait, so you can have the Odyssey on board the ship Ulysses. Okay, fine, whatever. You know what, the Serenity seems to be the good all-rounder, and it's called Serenity. So job done. Enter a code to generate the galaxy, and you start off with Reynolds, as in Malcolm, perhaps, given I have just actually picked the lander Serenity. No, 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 no. I think we can personalise this a little bit. That way, if this all goes horribly wrong because I run into terrible events, it's entirely my own fault. There we are, many a true nerd, which is as close as we can get to many a true nerd, spot on. So if you want to play along with exactly my galaxy, there's the seed. Now the game is defaulting in explorer mode, but no, 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 I've read about this. So explorer mode is basically easy mode and rogue mode is actually kind of how the game's supposed to be played. So we're going straight into rogue mode, but we're going to start from Earth so I can at least learn the basics. And we start off with a countdown. Good. I like countdowns. Excellent. So we need a final crew member to join us in orbit. So I'm guessing one of the crew members is right here. And, oh, I get to not lift off if I can't be bothered. Beautiful. So I can thrust or alternatively thrust. What's this one? Oh, that's reverse thrust. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, mission control. It's fine. I'm just figuring out what all the buttons do. So up we go. And then back down we come. No, wait, no, I shouldn't have. I've made a mistake. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, we're okay, we're alright, and up into space we go, and I can just, ooh, I can do a little flip. Oh, I shouldn't do a little flip, I shouldn't do a little flip, we're still too close to flipping launch control. Okay, up, up, uh, oh, can I fire all the thrusters at the same time? I can, I can, oh no, but, because of gravity, if I do both thrusters at the same time, I actually start going down. Ooh, physics, also I'm really burning a lot of fuel, so I hope it wasn't expensive. So, go down to planets, have a little explore, when you're done, just fly back up, and beyond the atmosphere, you immediately rejoin your ship. Gotcha. So we need to visit the Shear Pirelli mining colony on Mars to collect exotic materials for the jump. Ooh, exotic materials. So right now, I am just in a nice, stable orbit. Lovely. Or I could go visit my ship. Let's go visit my ship. Investigate item and artifacts collected on your journey. Okay, fine. Crew members will often have different ideas what to do with an artifact. Their backgrounds may determine how likely they are to succeed. Okay, find ancient stuff, give to archaeologist. Gotcha. And right now I just start with some basic stuff here. Medical kits, critter repellent. Ah, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is the stuff we start with because of the people I brought along. So I brought my engineer, so as a result, yeah, she's got a toolbox. And my archaeologist brought a crystal skull because she's got terrible taste in Indiana Jones movies. But it's okay, I love her anyway. Go to the crew quarters, we can choose someone to send down onto the planet. If they pick up five ailments of any description, they die, alright? Watch their health. Fine, so we can do stuff for the ship, but we probably can't yet. Got it. Earth, mission forecast, harmless. Earth is apparently harmless. Well, I wouldn't say that. Flying over Australia there, you know what the bloody wildlife's like. And ooh, map. Map. Ooh. So yeah, there we are. There we are. Earth, 
That's where I am. And there's Mars. That's where I need to go. Beautiful. Oh, I think we're going away from Mars right now. We should probably leave, like, in a hurry. So, use thrust to accelerate. Your ship retains momentum. It's influenced by the gravity of... Ooh. Ooh, there's orbits and gravity. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. So, to reduce speed, turn your ship against your trajectory and apply thrust. Use the minimap and gravity wells for navigation and boost speed to save fuel. But yeah, if I just, like, drift accurately, life is good. Okay, hang on. Boost is similar to thrust, but much stronger. Using quickly burns through your fuel. That's fine. I can just thrust. Thrust is fine. Boost is very helpful for fast turns. Thrust is better for delicate maneuvers. Well, that's fine. Just call me Captain Delicate. It's okay. Such as orbiting planets. Okay. Just, just got to thrust about this direction. And now, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Now, now I just go in this direction. And if I'm right, can I actually... Yeah, I should be now heading at a nice steady rate towards Mars. And pretty soon, yep, looks like my trajectory is starting to curve. Probably because I'm going too much towards Mars. Use thrust to avoid a collision. I'm working on it. And now just, yes, yeah, slow down, slow down, slow down. Red line means bad. And, okay, hopefully this means we're now going to be in a... Yeah, I need to, we need to just slightly, slightly increase thrust. Yeah, get the circle in and... No, 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 no. Who's piloting this thing? Okay, now just, just a little bit more. Close it, close it, close it. Okay, I think we've got ourselves an orbit. <laughs> This is so cool! Okay, and yeah, if I need to do, I can boost in an emergency, but I should try to avoid doing that, because that would be bad. So, at this point, I need to fly to... No, I need to enter the orbit. I've not quite got an orbit sorted yet. It's fine. Can I slow down? I need to slow down. Oh, oh dear. Uh, steer your ship into the orbit ring. Oh, no, I just need to get into the orbit ring, and then we're fine. Decelerate if necessary. Stay within the orbit ring for a few seconds. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm about to crash, actually. Then I can activate the autopilot to lock the orbit. Okay, good. It's not as hard as I... Ah! I think I just skimmed Mars. It's fine. Yeah, I just need to get into the ring of Mars. There, there we go. That should do. If I just do slightly, 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 slightly. There we go. That should be good. That should be good. Now, we should stay inside the orbit ring. And... Boom. Okay, we only kind of grazed Mars once. That's a result, damn it. <laughs> I like this game already. Right, uh, yes, let's land here. So, land thing. Now land... Oh, I can see Earth in the... Ah, oh, oh, it actually animates the whole galaxy. You can see Earth in the distance. Oh, cool. Well, it's a map. You can actually see everything. Oh, I actually need to land. <laughs> oh, God, I was never good at these games. I was always terrible at these games. Right, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop more, stop more, stop more, ouch, balls, balls, stop more, go up, okay, it's fine, everything's fine right now, just, okay, good, slow down a little bit, slow, 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 I was always awful at these sorts of games, alright, always awful, and, no, 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 and, lovely, I think I didn't do that much damage there. So Shia Pirelli is having a chat with me. Welcome to Mars IASA. Got your freshly brewed antimatter right here. Ready for transfer. Abso flipping. Luke Lee, don't hang up. They're giving us what we want, damn it. Transfer complete. Wait a second. Got another present for you. Boss wants you to test our new prototype shield generator while you're out there. Shouldn't have any trouble fitting it. At least it'll protect against energy bursts. Good. That sounds very useful. Safe travels, bring us back a souvenir. Oh, this is where it's all going to go horribly wrong then. Good, good. So right now, fuel is good. Uh, hull strength is mostly good. I only really kind of... I just gently grazed Mars. Okay, I just gently grazed Mars. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we've got four people alive and three red circles, but I don't really know what that one means. So we've got to go to the laboratory and install that new shield generator and also... Get our lovely little exotic materials and turn it into jump fuel or whatever. EM tank, okay? Let's figure that out. So, over to the lab. Need to install this. I would say, probably, I want to... Yes, a friendly neighbourhood grease monkey. I've actually brought an engineer. So that's probably a good idea. The astronaut says she can handle that. I'm sure you can, but I literally have an engineer, alright? So let's actually have you use that. There, this will now work with our ship. Didn't give it to the archaeologist, probably a good idea. 
And we've also got ourselves a big exotic materials tank, so I would say, yeah, the engineer again, this is kind of your job. You get on with that. That should be enough fuel for three jumps. Lovely, so fine fuel, keep ourselves going. Ah, haha, -ha, okay, that is what the red circles were for. The red circles marked that I have three loads of fuel for jumps, but I had no fuel for it, fine. So in which case, it's time to jump to Alpha Centauri, and nothing can possibly go wrong. I like that optimism. That's good optimism right there. So, what we need to do is hold thrust and boost to activate the jump drive. Well, let's get, you know, far away from Mars first. I don't want to accidentally, like, blow up Mars or anything. So, zoobly, zoobly, zoop, and away from orbit we go. Now, have we got a nice clean line? I'd like, yeah, okay, this. This looks like a nice clean line to, like, the edge of the galaxy. There we go. So now, if I accidentally lose control, like, we won't hit anything. Because now we're going in a nice straight line. The worst thing that can happen is I ding Pluto. Activate thrust and boost simultaneously and prepare to wibbly wibbly whoop. Yep, we're wibbly wibbly whooping. Zoop we go. Yep, that right there, that's a ship that's going right. I mean, sure, it's, you know, jibbling slightly, but it, it's fine. Everything's under control. The zibble is expected. As you can tell, the zibble drive is doing what it's supposed to and my flame machine is activating perfectly normally and we're even doing a little flip textbook and also a few people have got really really badly injured space folder malfunction where are we this isn't alpha centauri sense indicates something large in the debris field is trapping us here okay right this seems all bad so i'm currently actually jammed but i've still got fuel i haven't lost that much in the way of hull points and yeah a few people picked up some injuries too so maybe we should sort that out first into the ship, just check everything's all okay. Is everyone fine? Just head over to the quarters here. Yeah, you've got yourself a minor injury in the form of a concussion. And you've got yourself a minor injury in the form of whiplash. Honestly, broadly, I think that's okay. Standard first aid and supplies. First, it's got a fair bit of stuff in it, which is good. So crack that open and a concussion has been healed. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We didn't just use the... Did we just use the entire medical kit on just her? Oh, I feel like we shouldn't have done that in that case. I thought those symbols meant there was loads of different stuff. Okay, fine. <laughs> we just used the entire medical kit to solve one concussion, which I feel like we shouldn't have done, but never mind, eh? How's the ship doing, by the way? Ship hull, a bit on the damaged side. We've still got some exotic matter, ship engines. We've got one defect in the resource processing. So right now, yeah, 30% metal conversion rate. Okay, so if I'm using my little resources tab in order to convert stuff into other stuff, that's gonna be inefficient. Let's not worry about that for the time being. So something larger than the debris field is trapping us here. Follow the white arrow to get to the source of the jamming signal. Okay, hello. Me and you safe. I just very slowly go into you. Do I hit you or do I, yes. Yes, I do. I just kind of... Ooh, I can actually make you... Hang on. If I then... Ooh, I can push you around. Oh, that's really cool. Also, can I blow you up? There we... Do we just shoot sideways? Is that how we... Okay. I feel like in many ways what we want to do is... Why are we shooting? Okay. Fine. Whatever. So guns in this game are broadsidey. Got it. Broadside guns. Let's just turn off weapons. Gotcha. Right. Let's just go over here and find the... Oh, I found the big wibbly thing. Good. We found the wibble. And I think we just... We, I think we just hit something. Okay. Watch out for some stuff. Yeah, I found a giant wibble. And I feel like that's... Bad. Um, hello. Can you communicate? Are you the infinity machine? Ah, that looks a bit more welcoming. In at the bottom. Right. So up here. Yeah. Can we go in? Yep, looks like we can go in the bottom. Fine. What the heck is going on here? Barasso to Daedalus 7. I'm entering the alien structure now. Which one's Barasso? Is, is Kirsten Kirsten Barasso? I guess so. Yeah, go ahead. Everything's built on much bigger than human scale. Much of it's rusted over. Giant glass capacitors crack with trapped lightning. No sign of life or presence. Suit sensors say air is ozone, nitrogen, a few unidentified and... Okay, found a door. Power still seems to be on. Looks like it's expecting some kind of signal. What signal should we send? Should we send L equals question mark squiggly line or slash and percentage symbol? Okay, well, let's send it to question. 
<laughs> Yay! Wait, there's a computer terminal here translating everything I say into symbols. It looks like it might be compatible with our technology. Someone come here and collect it and try and send a signal to me. Should we plug the translation matrix into our systems? Yes. Yes, we should, because why the hell not, eh? We're in weird alien technology in for a penny in for a pound. Install! Have you installed it? Send the code. I'm going to send a code. The door's curling open like a flower made of aluminium. Oh, oh, oh! It says aluminium, not aluminium. Screw you, America. Walking through it, endless tunnels leading in every direction. But soft blue lights are heading to some kind of control center? There's a cradle in the middle of the room, attached to the ceiling by wires. There's something inside it. A glowing cylinder. I can't explain it, but it calls to me. Okay, that's a bad sign. That's a sign that you don't actually pick that up, but screw it, we've got ourselves a keystone from the sphere. Sounds nice and dramatic, if nothing else. Acknowledged, should be able to free it with this plasma torch. No, don't cut. Oh, for goodness sake, I felt like this is all going to go horribly wrong. Got it. The hum in the air is gone. The sphere is shutting down around me, returning to the ship while I can. Location left. Okay, fine. So basically, it's little text adventures when you find new stuff. And that now means we could leave this area. Good, good, good. So the sphere's holdness is gone. We can leave this space graveyard and system whenever we like. Thrust and thingy. Charging. Preparing to leave. And off we zoop. So, mining, repairing, and refueling. Our scanners show valuable resources on that nearby planet. We can harvest them and use them to fix damage and refuel both our fuel and EM tanks. So we need to drill for metals on a nearby planet, scoop gas on the nearby planet, and on the resources screen, then actually use them for something. Okay, which planet are we talking about? Okay, we're talking that planet over there. So in which case, yeah, let's just get ourselves... Looks like we're going in roughly the right direction to be on an intercept course there. Oh, we're too close to the sun. Okay, we're too we're too close to the sun. We're very close to the sun. Don't go into the sun. All right, good. Yep, there we go. Actually, we've got a pretty good angle right now. Yep. Yeah. No. 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 Okay, just got to get there. We are. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. And then the moment I enter that. Hit the autopilot and we'll enter a proper orbit. So, there we go. And all done. Yeah, you just need to literally hit it. Then you can just hit it straight away. Nice. Okay, good. Thank you, autopilot. So, we should probably land here because we need to find stuff, don't we? We need to drill for metals and scoop gas. All right, let's land then. And, oh, I just love how, like, the rest of the system is properly 3D modeled when you do your lander. So, it all feels like it's connected. I love it when games do that. So, down we come, down we come, and yeah, we've got a couple of different locations we need to go to. So, slow down the descent, slow down the descent. Okay, so, we've still got vertical speed and horizontal speed being flagged to us. Uh, still going down, mind, and probably need to... Oh, oh, oh dear, there's there's lightning. There is lightning, which is, which is a problem. Okay, we need to speed this up, because there's lightning. So, wear and tear, the transmission clutch is now slipping, because it got, like, hit with lightning, so fair enough. And now slow, 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 and about here, hit, no, no, just a bit more, 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 tiny bit more this way. Oh, there's wind, I think there's bloody wind. Bloody hell. Right, job done. Now, drill. So now we just drill down to here, and fuel is going down, okay. Can we just drill again to get a bit more? No, okay, fine. So we've got, I think, what we need there. Hang on, if I just take off and then slightly reposition, do I get a little bit different? How does the drilling work in this game? Hang on. Down here, yep. Now if I drill down here, do I get anything else? No, I think I'm beyond... I think what that means is I'm now using fuel inefficiently. Altitude is a little bit on the low side of those mountains. Okay, round here. Now there's two more that are close together. Just go, no, 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 sorry. Oh, I should have seen that one coming. It's literally on the mini-map, damn it. Also, oh, the lightning, I think, hits you more at different... Oh, I'm going to do it a second time. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is under... Oh, the fuel is really low in the lander. That's a concern. The fuel in the lander is really, really low right now. I need to get this right first time. Right first time. Ah, no, 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 that was the wrong... That was the wrong thing. Hold RT to fight. Oh, yeah, the reverse thrusters. Those are a good idea. Maybe I just need to... Okay, and do them again right now. Yeah, now turn, 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 turn. Right. Thrusters. No. This is all fine. There we go. I've managed to get the thing upright. 
again. But now, now fuel is a problem. I'm going to be trapped here. Oh, the wind. The wind. And also the lightning. And also the ship is screwed. Right, we need to get this landing right perfectly. First time, first time, first time. Actually did it. Okay. I think what we need to do is we need to fuel is down at nothing. Oh dear. I'm about to run out of fuel. What happens when you run out of fuel? Life support system out of fuel. Oh, that's that's a concern. I feel like this is going about to go horribly wrong right now then. Life support out of fuel. But I've got magnesium. Uh, weirdly, I can keep drilling even when I'm out of fuel. She's currently suffocating. Maybe we should just get... Okay, we need to get out of here. Like now. Get out of here. Like now. Get out of here now. So basically, that went well. I think we can all agree that was a successful trip there. So the lander hull is screwed. And yeah, the pilot has, aside from her whiplash, she now also has a broken arm and she's... Oh, she was suffocating. She's fine now. Good, good, good. But until I scoop gas on the nearby planet, we are going to be a little bit on the screwed side. So unfortunately, we do need to go back down there. But before that, I should probably like, you know, fix up the lander and stuff. So that phosphate I've picked up, I can use to refill my exotic materials, but that's already actually full by the looks of things. Or I can use the magnesium I've picked up to repair the hull. So can I do that right now? In fact, actually, I should probably repair the, the lander. Can I use that for the lander? Okay, I think I did a tiny bit to the lander, but really, really not very much. Okay. What I really need, to be honest, is, yeah, I need, uh, I need fuel. So I need to create fuel for the... Well, I don't need fuel for the ship. I need fuel for the lander. So yeah, that hydrogen that I'm carrying around with me, I can use that to make more fuel. Fine, but what about the lander fuel? Does that just get automatically topped up? I think that might get automatically topped up. Uh, now, as for you, yeah, right now you're not doing so hot. Congratulations, by the way, you're now the lander pilot. And we're also going back down there because we have to do it better this time, okay? So pilot status is okay. Down we go. This time, let's do it better. We need to scoop that, um, yeah, the gas thing. We need to land on top of that gas thing. Fix that. So... Wear and tear, we need to go for the blue one. So basically, you get a free top-up of your lander fuel. That's not considered to be a problem. Don't hit me, thank you. Right. This time, we're coming in nice and smooth. Now, start slowing down. Start slowing down here. Start slowing down. Okay. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. No, no, nice. Oh, I got hit by the thing. Balls, 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 balls. I got hit by lightning temporarily, and that screwed up my electricals. That's fine. Right now. Now, now, and again. Do not hit me with lightning right now. Oh, there's bloody wind speed. Right, and... No. Actually, oh, do I need to hover? Oh, can I drill while I'm hovering? Oh, that would be... Good. Okay, just wait. Wait one second. Bloody wind and also lightning. This is quite tricky. Right, now, 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 now. Yeah, if I'm just right here, can I just... Ooh, ooh, oh! I see. I don't need to land there. I can just basically grab it while I'm just passing by. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no, electricity! The hull is completely screwed. I can't take another knock. I can't take another knock, but I can... Grab fuel. Yep, fine. And just keep going. Nice. Okay. Good. We've got ourselves a bunch of feet. You know what? I'm just going. We're just going. We need to repair the damn thing. Okay. I'm just going to leave this terrible, terrible planet. Next time, okay, we land on a nicer planet. A planet where there's not lightning trying to flipping kill us. How do I fix the lander hull, by the way? Use metals or find help to repair it. Okay. Also, the... Oh god, everything's just gone wrong here. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a lot more metal to repair the lander. We need a load of magnesium to do that, and we don't actually have a load of magnesium or other metals right now. We've got a load of hydrogen, so we're good for fuel. Let's just convert some of that. A-okay, lovely. And we've got ourselves a bunch of phosphate, so we can use that to make more exotic materials to do jumps, but we need, like, metal urgently, because right now our lander is screwed. So... Back out of here. Let's just get away from this terrible, terrible planet. No, this... Get away from this... Oh, dear. Get away from this planet. Oh, God. It won't let me go. Just boost. Boost away. Okay, good. Now, let's just... Let's just get out of here. All right, let's just do a big wibbly wibbly boost because that worked well last time. And... Wibble. Distance to Earth. About 38,000. You know what? Let's just say for the sake of morale, 37,000 parsecs. And I need to go to... Here. 
Uh, is that the only place I can go to? I can go over here as well. Oh, that looks better. Oh, it kind of looks better. I mean, it's got stuff, which is nice. It's got common carbonates. Common carbonates feels like a good sort of thing. Does anyone know which directions Earth is in, by the way? Do, do we know that? Hang on, z zoom out here. Yeah, zoom out. Does anyone know where, like, there's Earth? Has anyone seen Earth? Like, anywhere? I'm guessing it's it's going to be over there, isn't it? That's going to be Earth. Yeah, that's, that's going to be Earth right there. Yeah, there's Sol, all on its bloody own, right? Not playing well with the other systems. Okay! So there's common materials on this world, and that's an ocean world with lots of cold. Or there's basically nothing there. Okay, don't go there, basically, because there's nothing going on. But over here, in Robeson, yeah, let's head to Robeson in that case. Common helium, common hydrogen, common copper, common silicates. Ah, but, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, the colour coding system. So yeah, blue basically means this corresponds to stuff you can turn to fuel. Green corresponds to you can turn this stuff into, um... Yeah, you can turn this stuff into your exotic materials for jumps. And white corresponds to this you can use to repair the hull. So I need to go and find copper. I'm going here. We need to find a world with some copper. So we're jumping there. And we desperately, desperately need to find some copper there. So let's find the planet with the copper. And yeah, that'll be fine. And now we are... Oh, oh dear. Hello. This is intolerable. I will not be forgotten. I will not be erased from history. Doctor, chill the hell out, okay? Oh, is there a green thing behind us? Because I'm concerned you're not dead yet, you old fart. Wait till we get back before throwing a tantrum. There's a... Hello. There's a thing. Do we want to be friends with it? I mean, it was marked in green, but I'm not convinced we don't need to murder it yet anyway. Hello. Would you like to be my space friend? Oh, it looks like it's about to flipping eat me. Yeah, let's answer the call. Royal Collector Samzaquin. Mine eyes. Truly, thou art the most revolting creatures I've ever inflicted upon them. Thou art... Perfect. I command thee assist me. My king holds court at a nearby star base. He seeks freaks and misfits to amuse our kings and princes and up to six squintillion viewers on subspace. You will be my entry this year. Yes, my ticket to fortune. Thou will, of course, accept. Is he actually, like, wanting to, like, kidnap me? Is he actually asking for one of my members of crew? Is that what he's doing? If we're willing to just, like, visit the planet, but then we can go afterwards, I'm okay with this. Make haste to the star base. I've added it to your map. Brush that inferior excuse fair. Oi, you're not very nice. So, he's basically invited me to a nearby star base. I should go, because hopefully I can, like, you know, trade or barter or something there. That's fine. So, galaxy map has been updated. And we could just, like, blow him up if we wanted to, but that's fine. So, we've got a starport and gate locations added to the galaxy map. Sounds like the perfect place for trading. We might also be able to refuel, get repairs, and mend our injuries. Yes. We should go there first, because that's way, way, like, safer. So that's fine. So hold A and R, T, T. Okay, so leave. Okay, we're not actually boosting out here. We're just leaving this immediate local area. And now we're going to go back to the galaxy map, aren't we? Yes. Okay, I see. No, not the galaxy map. The system map, I mean. Listen to aliens all you want, everyone lies, the truth comes out in bone and rock. Wow, you're flipping morbid, aren't you? Right, okay, all we need to do now is we need to get over to... Yeah, well, let's explore those three planets. We were told there was plenty of copper. Actually, you know what? No. Let's go to the safe planet and actually just buy some materials because we just desperately, desperately need to get ourselves... Let's just do a quick boost to change direction in a hurry here. Yep, there's a boost, nice. Because uh, we just desperately need to get metals to repair the lander. Because the lander right now is so screwed, we need to fix it up before we can do, like, anything else. Oh, uh-oh. Interception. I just passed by a thing that I'm guessing is less friendly. On the plus side, we don't like we- Oh, no. No, that's us. We're the smaller one. Hello, giant squid ship. Miserani greets humans. Have gift for humans. Miserani offer gift of friendship. Let Miserani befriend humans. Yes! Yes, we absolutely flipping well. Hello there, little plant ship. We like you. Oh, it's just an EM tank. That's the one thing we don't need. You guys are bloody hopeless. Miserani, best friends of humans now. Why do I not trust the Miserani? I don't trust the Miserani at flipping all. Miserani seek home for Miserani. Human help Miserani find home. Okay, potentially we can do that. So you're nomadic wanderers, are you? Miserani friendly aliens not welcome Miserani, but Miserani only want help. 
Yeah, I don't trust these guys one bloody bit. And the Miserani has got bored of speaking to me and now must go to sleep. Lovely. So, okay. They didn't try and blow us up. That was nice. Oh my goodness, their ship is literally called the Miserani Friendship. Oh, that's a door. Okay, fine. As we're literally outside this... Pl okay, this planet's got quite a lot of flipping. Yep. Scans indicate extreme environmental conditions. Attempting landing or retrieval extraction not advised. Deploy lander only as a last resort. Okay, and it's got... Yeah, what it's got there is gas and gas. We don't need gas or gas anyway. Fine. Let's look at the map here. Uh, they do, however, have... I just love how the friendship is now following me around. That's adorable. There's a moon around here. There we are. Let's just investigate. Like, if we can find a nice, calm planet around here. Oh, oh, blah, blah, no. oh, wait. Can we not? Can we not there? Hang on. Hang on. Just stop. 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 The gravity around here is really strong. Like, really strong. I'm burning a lot of fuel just to stay out of the bloody gravitational pull of the bigger planet. Actually, screw it. I'm going to this planet over here. And I'm pretty sure that planet to, like, the left and up a little bit of this one is going to be... Okay, now, slow down, slow, slow it down, 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 slow it down. We want to visit this planet, damn it. We want to visit this... Okay, we're going, we're going too fast. Yeah, that's it. I was going too fast. You need to slow right down, slow right down. Enter the, enter the thing there. There we go. That should be fine. Just a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further... Would you just leave me alone, please, for one bloody second, all right? I like you. You're fine, but you're being a bit needy. The friendship. There we are. This should be good. That should be a good angle. And autopilot. Nice. Okay. Please be a nice, calm planet. Low risk. Low risk. Ice. Gravity is low. We've got plenty of minerals. We have got lots of... The friendship just crashed. Okay. <laughs> Screw that. Not really my problem. Uh, okay. What we need to do now is go down there and find some minerals. Because this plant is apparently low risk and covered in minerals. Alright? So life is good. So down we come. There we go. Now, nice and calm. Nice and calm. We're going over here. I know. I know hull warning. Hull warning is a concern. Yes, fine. Uh, oh, wait. When it says hull warning, does that mean literally... We're leaking air because the hull is so badly damaged. We might be, you know, we might just be. Yeah, this feels like it's a bit of a junkyard planet. Okay, up, up, up. Hull warning, be careful. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wait, is that is that background or am I about to crash? No, we're okay. 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 Okay, no, 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 no. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Yes, yes, yes. Now, gentle landing, gentle landing, gentle landing. Beautiful. Textbook. No, stop. Stop sliding. Bloody ice worlds. Now land right safely on the top. Yes. All right, good. Get in there. Get hold of those there silicates. Nice. Well done. Well done. Then we slid off again. So we've got two times actual metal. What we probably ought to do is now go and visit the friendship. If we can. Yeah, go and visit the friendship. Because you guys are... Yeah, you're right over here. Ah! That's what this all is. This is all a big ship that crashed. It's your big ship. Okay. Illness. Oh, I think she's just picked up an alien thing because the hull's kind of battered and broken. Okay. Hang on. Can we land right here? Yeah. Hang on. Is this is this where I'm supposed to be landing, guys? No, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, I can see where you want me to land. Just a little bit tricky because of the... Ah! ah! No, no, no! Oh. Well... On the plus side, the ejector seat worked fine. We don't have a lander anymore. And we've acquired lander blueprints, which is good. <laughs> we didn't actually get anything else, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, uh, let's leave this planet and next time be more careful with the whole situation. Okay, around here. Around here. Okay, who wants to speak to me now? <laughs> is this going to be the flipping guys who are annoyed that I just left the other guys down on the planet and didn't help? If you're about to bomb me, I'm going to be really unimpressed. That looks like a terrifying spider creature in space. Oh, no, no, it's a robot. Hello there. Planetary distress detected. Commence sales message. Has your lander crash landed? Yes. Yes, it has. Um, can you help by any chance? So it's just going to give us an EM tank. Well, that's lovely of you. Um, but I don't really need an EM tank. I need to... Oh, I need to fly to 
the Entrope Harvester to construct a new lander. Star System Alnid Alnilam, Alnifam, something like that. Okay. Well, we'll leave you be for now. I kind of want to go visit this planet nearby that's apparently good. So let's just get out of here because we kind of need more actual fuel. And we're out of everything. And I assume the minerals we collected died with the lander. Ah, no, 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 no. It's not the same system. We've been told to go to the star system Alnilam if we want to find, yeah, a new lander and also an exotic pet show. Okay, we probably just need to go there because I can't actually land on any of these planets right now. So in which case, uh, screw it. Let's wibbly, 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 whoop. Perfect. I think we possibly just hit some meteorites. Yes. Yes, we did. The ship exploded when we hit some meteorites. You know what? It wouldn't be a roguelike if you didn't occasionally just explode. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be back doing this. We're going to have the second great attempt, and I'm going to do it better, because now I understand what I'm doing, like a little bit, roughly, a kind of, I suppose. That is what we're going to do. Tomorrow, the second great attempt, it's going to go better. In the meantime, I've been John Spin, many a true nerd, and this has been The Long Journey Home. Ooh, yes, yes, I like this one. Link in the description below. I think this one is well worth checking out. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>